Hi, good morning, everybody. Happy Thankful Tuesday. Wherever in the world, this is Rosanne again speaking. I'm looking very, very wonderful this morning. I'm looking very, very wonderful this morning in my green. And just thank the Lord Jesus for life, health, and strength. I thank you for every single thing because this is a day that the Lord has made. I rejoice and be glad every day of my life. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for every single thing that you are giving to us. I pray in the name of Jesus that people all around you will be listening to me and focusing on God, Father, Lord, and stop letting sidetrack, Father, Lord. But Lord, Father, Lord, you are everything to us, Father, Lord. And I pray that this message that I'm about to go, Father, Lord, yes, that this message will be a blessing to their hearts. And in that, Father, Lord, yes, they will understand the importance of serving you, Father, Lord, in spirit and in truth and all these things. So I just pray. As I bow, let the Holy Spirit saturate this place in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So let us start by saying how happy it is to be in the presence of the Lord. And we are going to read Psalm 16. And then after we are going on to the disadvantages in, of body language. And I will be explaining to you all chapter 10. Okay. And those who have a notebooks and pen. You can turn into that, okay? All right, so we are going. We are going to read Psalms 16, verse 1. So 1 to 11, okay? Preserve me, O God. For indeed do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extended not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied, that he is sent after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is a portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot the lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places yea i have a goodly heritage i will bless the lord who has given me counsel my reigns also instruct me in the right in the night seasons i have said the lord always before me because he is at my right hand i shall not be moved therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth my flesh also shall rest in hope for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence is is fullness fullness of joy at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore so we read today in psalms chapter 16 right psalms chapter 16 verse 1 to 11 was one say preserve me O god for indeed do i put my trust so that means preserve me O lord so when you preserve that mean keep me O lord preserve means to keep keep me O lord from troubles of the world keep me O lord be because i put my faith and i put my trust in the father i put my faith and trust in the father O lord right preserve my soul from all the workers of iniquity from all the enemies that don't like me. Preserve me, O Lord. That is what it means. Keep me, O Lord. Keep me from trouble. Keep me out of trouble. That's what that first Psalm 16 verse 1. Verse 2 said, O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my Lord, my goodness extended not to thee. So my soul has said unto the Lord, thou art. So God is your goodness. He endured forever. He is fruitful. He's omniscient, he's omnipotent, he's everything to you. So you ought to worship him in spirit and entreat you ought to give reverence to the Lord because his goodness, his mercy, his favor is new every morning. And we have to be thankful and we have to be grateful. We have to be grateful for life. We have to be grateful for health. We have to be grateful that we could sing any morning and praise him in the morning because without that bread, without everything, we are nothing. As I always say that in my previous videos, but I keep on reinforcing it to people around the world to get it in their brains, right? Because God is a sovereign God. God is a holy God. God is everything to you. And without him, we is nothing, right? 
So verse 3 said, But to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. So the saints that are in the earth, the saints, the children of God, the, the righteous, right? God is saying, Preserve me. Psalm, that is a Psalm David. Preserve me, O Lord. He was praying to God. Preserve me, O Lord. Do I, indeed do I put my trust. O my God, Father Lord, thou art my Lord, my goodness endureth, extended from the heavens, not to thee. Right, but to the saints that are good, and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. So all my delight in the Lord, all my delight, all my sovereign, all my joy comes from the Lord. All my help comes from the Lord. All my sovereign comes from the Lord. All my peace comes from the Lord. All my patience comes from the Lord. Is everything in in thing with His mercies and right forever from the Lord, according to Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks on, for his mercy and joy forever. And his mercies and his favor and his grace will always endure in our hearts because we are the saints and the body and brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Okay? So verse 4. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. So, come on, G-O-D is idle. Right? Anything could be idle. Money could be idle. People could be idle. Um, toxic relationships could be idle. And these things, right? So, He's saying in verse 4 that their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. So those who don't believe on Jesus Christ and believe in idols and images and graven images shall be damned and doomed, right? Because God never said that. God, in the Ten Commandments, said, do not worship another God before me, right? That is a Ten Commandment. That is the, one of the Ten Commandments that you must not do, Right? False gods and these things they talk about in chapter in in um verse four sorry right so their sorrows will be multiplied so the sorrows of the wicked will be multiplied because they worship they don't worship Jesus Christ they worship another false god and a false image right so they will be damned and doomed right and hell and the lake of fire too right um because their their drink offerings of blood will I not offer so they oil offering blood sacrifices and these things that is what it, it's saying right verse 5 the lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup thou maintainest my lot so the lord is my portion of my inheritance and my legacy god is god could give you anything you want right the inheritance of the lord is salvation and eternal life and the promised land too right and we have hope and faith and trust and believe on the lord jesus christ because thou will be saved Right, so verse 6 said, The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. So the lines are fallen down. So everything will fall down and tremble down at your feet. Everything will fall down and tumbling down, right? The walls of Jericho are tumbling down. That means to say that God is, is building up and building and restoring your life, right? God is building back your life. Whatever the enemy has been doing for all these years, God will turn it around for your favor because all things work together for good that those who love God and are called to his purpose according to Jeremiah 29, 11. Okay? So things will fall into place. Right? Do not worry. Seek him daily and praise him and magnify his holy name and allow God to enter into your life because he knows what he's doing. We don't know what we are doing. Do not lean on your own understanding. That is an encouragement for those who need it. For those who seek, for those who are confused at where they're going, remember that your help comes from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord and He who created heaven and earth. He's the one that we have to dwell in the secret place. He's the one we have to um, magnify His holy name and be grateful and thankful that when we get up in the morning, we praise the Lord and He magnifies His holy name because He's the only one has the keys to heaven and hell. He's the only one, true salvation. He's the only one, give us eternal life. He's the only one, give us the light. Because let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your fathers. And our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation and deliver us from all evil. So God is delivering people from all the temptations of the enemy right now. God is exposing and revealing things in the season. Things have to be done in an order and manner. Right? And it's not... It's not to lean on your own understanding, but allow the flow of the Lord Jesus Christ, allow the power of the Holy Ghost to be in, influenced, right? Allow the power of the Holy Ghost to flow through you, 
right? Because Jesus Christ will show you all things. Jesus Christ will show you the true colors of somebody and the red flags and to avoid and to cut off and to these things. Do not listen to the voices of other people. Listen to the voice of the Lord, right? Listen to the voice of the Lord's folks, okay? So verse 7 said, I will bless the Lord who had given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night season. So I will bless the Lord. So no matter what, I will bless the Lord at all times because his praise shall continue be in my mouth. And we need to serve the Lord, right? Because be humble and be glad. That is a verse, right? I will bless the Lord with all my heart who given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night season. So my reigns mean my, my goodness, my gracious, because I'm gracious. I'm faithful in the Lord. My joy will bring forth goodness and fruitful and overflowing and outpouring blessings. And prayer does change things. Keep on praying and keep on seeking him. Right? So verse 8 say, I have said the Lord always before me because he is at my right and I shall not be moved. So I said the Lord before me because he is always there. He will always encamp around. He will send his angels to encamp around you. He will always be there, protect you and keep you and guide you and sustain you because he's God and he loves us with an unconditional love and his love is more unconditionally than our love. We have to have compassion for one another. We have to pray for one another. We have to do things in love and unity because the lack of love and unity will be a self-destruction and it will be it will be lacking of self-control and lacking of self-esteem and all these things. So we have to come together as one, put one people and pray, right? Heal our land, pray, humble yourselves and pray before God, okay? So verse 9, therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth, my flesh also shall rest in hope. So your heart is glad in the Lord. You don't have to worry about nothing. You don't, God never give you no spirit of faith. You have to worry and Put yourself doubt and thing. You put your faith and trust always in the Lord. And he will direct your path. He will show you the way. He will show you every single thing that you have to know. You just have to consult him and focus him and be prepared. Right? Be prepared and thing. Because God is coming again soon. I was just saying that in my previous video. God is coming again soon. And he wants us to do what is right. He wants us to obey his words and focus on him. And stop only retaliating and retaliating and saying this and that. And focus. No, don't be of the world. Right? Be different. Right? And all these things. So verse 10 say, For thou wilt not leave any soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Okay, so that means to pray for your enemies and love your enemies. Pray for them. Pray for them and haters and think that they will come to know Jesus Christ, that they will turn to the Lord because God could use anybody, right? And God is no respecter of persons. And God said we have to pray for the one another. We have to pray without ceasing and these things. Because God wants us to do that. Right? So verse, lastly, verse 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence. Is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So, that means that like, verse 11 talks about the promised land. God, when you obey God and you worship God and you praise God and you will be obedient to him and you not go in your own direction and thing, you will see the promised land. You will see the blessings. You will, God will prepare a table, a table in the presence of your enemies, right? And it's all point overflowing blessings. But we have to rise up. We have to rise up and be warriors. We have to rise up as Christian people. Rise up in the, in the body of Christ and stop retaliating, stop and making excuses stop doing these things and start come together as one right come together as one in the body of christ no matter what creed and race is come together as one people and learn to pray and learn to humble yourselves and god will forgive right if we start doing these things and stop only straying away from our own thoughts and carnal minded and all these things and come together and be spiritually minded and transformed by the unified mind okay so that this whole ch chapter psalms chapter 16 from verse 1 to 11 it, it comes back, right, that we ought to be, um, we ought to be higher than the world. We ought to show people the light within us, right? We have the light. God gave us the light. God created us, right? And God wants us to do what is right, okay?
so let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this word i pray in the name of jesus that this psalms will be a blessing to people as that they will understand you father lord. they will comprehend what you are coming from father lord and they will not be confused father lord and no doubt and fear will confuse their brains and minds as father lord and let's pray father lord yes that you will cut off people from the life that you have purified yourself and repent and do what is right father lord and not only lean on their own understanding father lord jesus that lord they will acknowledge you every day father lord and be grateful and thankful for the life that they have father lord because without you we are nothing father lord and i pray father Father Lord, that they will sustain and keep them, Father Lord. And Father Lord, they will understand you, Father Lord. They will comprehend what you are saying from what you are not saying, Father Lord. That the voice of the Holy Spirit will talk to their hearts, Father Lord, right now. I come against any unclean spirits for lord and people family right now that lord they will be free from bondage for the lord whatever fit what all pharaohs in their family for lord whatever strongholds for the lord that i command break loose right now loose loose right now in the name of jesus follow in him your sickness shall go for the lord in the name of jesus i cast out any demonic entities for the lord right now unclean spirits for the lord right now that is entertaining and people lies for the lord that they will go that will set free for the lord from any any and bondage father lord in name of jesus christ father lord. i pray for mr justin father lord. i pray for people all around the world father lord that mr justin will go will uh, set up blockages father lord in his life father lord that remove all the blockages i renounce and any ungodly ties right now any ungodly family father lord right now that is hindering his life father lord is trying to control and manipulate all the people and them all the friends the so-called friends he has father lord i pray in the name of jesus father lord that that man will be a, a blessed man father lord you come out of that father lord by the blood of jesus i command every evil spirit to go in his life right now and every evil spirit and people lives to go right now by the blood of jesus i stand on solid ground i stand as a warrior and a fighter and we are not wrestling against our flesh and blood we are wrestling against spiritual warfare in high places and father lord yes i pray father lord that all evil altars all wicked altars from the north to the east to the south of the caribbean to the united states my lord shall be broken right now by the blood of jesus so i pray in the name of jesus as i about to give this other message for lord about a communication for the lord that lord they will help them for the lord to break loose of all all um strongholds and all these things for the lord by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus christ our lord amen so i hope that prayer will really pray right and help you all right so we are going on to we are going on to chapter 10 right what you can get into with the incorrect body language so we spoke about yesterday right about body lang about the other before we spoke about symmetry and then we spoke about the different positions positive right and the importance of matching another person and now we are talking about incorrect body language incorrect response then right That was just that was just um the tv in the back okay so um so what can what you can get into with the incorrect body language okay so oftentimes people don't realize the impact of the body language and its consequences on any given particular situation or scenario right some facts most people breeze through the day without this reality ever coming to the light right however the discerning and some would sadly intelligently scheming few the purposeful use of body language in the daily life has proven to be quite an effective and beneficial tool. Practicing to be con consciously and continually aware of this sometimes very effective tool is an art worth exploring. However, on the other hand, the wrong or subconscious use of the body language tool can bring about unnecessary and sometimes annoying results. Incorrect use of body language can bring about the reactions and reflections that are not needed or wanted and thus causing a great inconvenience to both the person using the body language tool and the perceived receiver. 
Such misinterpretation can end up causing the almost opposite intended reactions. Right? So that means to say when you do the when you practice the body languages correctly, like um you that is a defense, right? You could use that as a defense in your daily life, right? Like problems, you don't have to talk about it. You just have to work on it, right? You have to do the actions instead of talking, instead of complaining, instead of murmuring and just doing these things. Because most of the time, people who complain on these things and murmurs are not really good people at all. They have insecurities of their own self. They are very influenced by people who really don't like them and don't care about them. And they are just like, want to like be hating on somebody, right? We all come into this world, right? And we all have to come out of this world, right? One of these good is when God ready for us, we have to go. But in the meantime, when you're alive, you have to say, thank the Lord, you're alive. Because it are people going, going now and then, they're going, going. God is, i telling you, God, humanity is something else, right? But we all have to focus. We all have to put in our goals and set our goals and set the correct boundaries and lock off people who are not there for us, who are then serve, then serve us no good purpose in life, right? So especially in relationships, when a particularly innocent term body language is exercised and reflected, the consequences of said actions, right, can and often are wrongly perceived, resulting in the very messy process of trying to straighten everything out. In business, to a wrong perception of the body language tool can cause very damaged results indeed. Therefore, it is indeed prudent to practice to be ever conscious of the body language being implied and practiced. This is indeed necessary to avoid any unnecessary inconveniences from occurring. So, especially in relationships, when a particularly innocent term body language. So, when you use body languages, that is incorrectly, right? This is incorrect use of using it. It will cause severe damage. It will cause severe pain and heartache and broken heart in any states. Because when you use it in a correct manner, it will result into happiness and joy and peace and all these things, right? But when you use it bad now, is a is a danger right it's a danger to be doing these these things and incorrectly right because oftentimes people don't realize the impact it have it, it have a very effect right and the consequences because you have to face these things in life when you don't like to listen you will feel and my grandmother always used to tell me that right so just recapping we dealt up today with psalm chapter 16 I read and I explain to you, right? Focus on the Lord always. And chapter 10, what you can get into with the incorrect body language, the incorrect, the incorrect way of doing things in life. And we, we discuss some facts about how people has moved, the way how people react to what you are doing, which is, and it have the consequences for your actions. Because actions speak louder than the words. Okay, so practice these things in your daily lives. Practice these things. All the videos what I have did, all you have to practice these things. Practice makes perfect, right? The reason why it don't have no love and unity again in the world is because people prioritize too much on vanity things rather than spiritual things, right? Now nobody is saying no. You must have money, but for the love of money is the root of all evil. That was what the Bible say. We have to focus more on the Lord. We have to stop getting sidetracked in this world. This world have nothing more than chaos and confusion, right? So we as one have to pray, right? If you have any issues in your family, solve, try to address the problem. Try to be brave and stand up for your rights. And do not be ashamed, right? Do not allow nobody to manipulate you. Do not allow nobody to control you. And do not allow nobody to take advantage, right? Because that, when you keep on doing that, that means that you are staying down. You are allowing people to control your life. When you need to love yourself first. You see, when you love yourself first and you put God first, everything will fall into place. But when you don't have God in your life and you're only studying the belief system and everything, that will be hard, right? 
if you have childhood childhood wounds and you want to resolve it go into the go into a secret place and pray pray about it you see when you pray about things and you address stuff everything will fall into place but when you don't pray the enemy does come in like a flood and all these things so i just that is for people who need encouragement and advice on what to do with their life because people it's our families that fall apart divide and all these things and it's not right right because somebody always have to go and tell somebody and all type of all type of bacchanal scene and gossiping does have to take place because people don't know how to talk right when you tell somebody something you need to keep everything on the low if you don't do that that means they will be spreading in your, your business from here there and everywhere and that is not right because why they have their own insecurities that next person have their own insecurities they're holding on to they're latching on to these things for all these years and they don't know how to let go you see when you let go and you let go that is how you will be able to see a way for plenty of things and that is not goes it not goes to christian people it goes to people in general right who have insecurities and don't want to let go because they have wounds right and they never address it with their parents they never address it with people they never address it in their home and they never discuss it everybody's studying every other thing but they ain't studying to to fix themselves to love themselves and to nurture themselves and you see when you love yourself more and you nurture yourself you will always be the best version of yourself so people who are going through that need to learn to pray to forgive to repent to move away from trouble and because trouble does come easy right my grandmother always used to tell me that because when you trying to take a point everybody negative right learn to stay away from negativity learn learn these things learn that your life is more precious than gold learn that god loves you learn that the only way the only way is to salvation the only way that leads to happiness is through jesus christ and i pray and i pray in the name of jesus that people will accept this whole explanation whatever message whatever encouragement i give to them that follow it will be a blessing to their hearts that they will learn to forgive and learn to forget and learn to move away from negativity and learn to pray and learn to repent and learn to do what is right and break free from the bondages of pharaohs in their family father lord right now in the name of jesus so i pray for, thank you lord jesus for the lord that i had this message for lord i pray for lord that this whole video will be a blessing to everybody wherever they are in the world internationally for lord that father lord they will listen to what i have said and the advice that i given to them for lord that it will be a blessing in the name of jesus christ our lord amen make them have a good day in the name of jesus christ thankful father lord and thankful father lord for you thank you lord jesus thank you lord in the name of jesus christ amen so this is Josan again speaking i hope you all have a blessed day i'll see you in another video tomorrow right um i hope you all have a blessed day and god bless you and i'll be praying for you all and love you with the love of jesus and focus on the lord and seek him daily and forget about this world because this world have nothing to offer we have to come together as one we have to be compassionate for one another and we're not supposed to be breaking down one another it's time for us to stand as one people and stop breaking down each and every and stop and stop holding grudges and stop envying people and allow everything because everybody have one life to live. We all have one life to live and we have to live it to the fullest. We have to live it in Jesus Christ. We don't have to live it alone because we are not alone. God is there. Without God, we are nothing. Jesus Christ is the one that came into the world to save sinners from going a lost eternity. And we ought to worship him. We ought to magnify. We ought to praise. We ought to read. We ought to go down on our knees and, and confess. We ought to repent and surrender. That's what we have to do. And focus on the positive things rather than the negative. And stop having family members control your life. Stop having people in general control your life. You have time to say enough is enough and put on your foot on them and learn to do that. And when you do that now, you're grown. That is growth. That is spiritual growth. That is purifying, cleansing all the old toxic ways you had from before. Shut it out and let new things come in. Because God is purifying. God is taking the debris, what the enemy 
has been doing for all these years and and planting something into new because all things work together for good that those who love god and are called to his purpose and that is jeremiah 20 and we have to seek him daily according to mark matthew 6 33 and for god is love john 3 16 for god so loved the word god is love and without love without love there is no god and without god there is no love so we have to remember that okay so i hope this encouragement will encourage people around the world to love one another and to learn to repent and learn to learn to shut off people from your life cut off people and stay by yourself and learn how to love yourself more and you will see a change in your life today right it will bless this video will bless people as today who watching it and who watching it today i pray that things will solve in your family line i pray in the name of jesus that things will solve in your family line that you will have a peace of mind you will have clarity and you have spiritual let god talk in your heart let god and whatever you have to move you have to, you have to move or whatever god is going to move you from a different state or wherever countries locations your creations and these things because i'm seeing plenty of things happening in the spirit i'm seeing that things happening that god is shifting the, the atmosphere already is shifting and god is doing a work in your life and you just have to just have to just go through the process and change love yourself more love yourself more and allow jesus christ to work in your life okay so you have a blessed day and i'll see you in another video tomorrow bye-bye